I don't know if I told y'all to do this, but mine has not been saved. If you didn't save it, go ahead and click file and then save. If you did save it, fine and dandy. We're now going to create a quick mask. To change the color of the glasses frames, you'll use a quick mask because you won't need the mask after you're done with this one task and so that you can create the mask by painting. First, you'll clean up the layers panel. Hide the episode background layer so we can't see that anymore. So we can concentrate on our lovely model. Make sure the model layer copy is selected. Zoom in so you can see the glasses like I have it. Click the Edit and Quick Mask Mode button near the bottom of the Tools panel. Until now, you've been working in the default standard mode, so what it's talking about is right here. And you see when you click that, see how this turned red over here? In Quick Mask Mode, a red overlay appears as you make a selection, masking the area outside the selection the way a Ruby lith, never heard of that before, you probably haven't either, or a red acetate was used to mask images in traditional print shops. This idea is similar to the overlay view mode that we saw in Select and Mask. You can apply changes only to the unprotected area that's visible and selected. Notice that the highlight color for the selected layer in the Layers panel is red, indicated we are in Quick Mask mode. If you're using a small display and the tools panel is in a single column mode, like mine is, the quick mask button may be the past the bottom of the screen. If the tools panel is in two column mode, it's at the bottom left corner of the panel. So depending on which one you have, there's the bottom left corner. I'm on a big monitor as well as you, so hopefully you can see yours right there. All right. So in the Tools panel, we're going to select the Brush Tool, Brush Tool right here. In the Options bar, make sure Normal Mode is selected right here. Open the Brush Pop-up panel and select a small brush with a diameter of 13. Hardness of 100, 13. Hardness needs to be at 100. And then click outside of it. And that will close the panel. Paint the earpiece of the glasses frame. So magnify if it helps you paint more precisely. The area you paint will appear red, creating a mask. Cre continue painting with the brush tool to mask the earpiece of the frames and the frame around the lenses. Reduce the brush size to paint around the lenses. You can stop where the air piece goes under the hair. So, ah, I'm terrible. Hopefully. Hopefully you'll do better than me. I don't have a real steady hand sometimes. I'm going to reduce my brush. Anybody remember how to reduce that? What shortcut that is? That's the left bracket key, which is the key right to the right of the letter P. That reduced it. If I'm grunting, I'm sorry. Somebody told me that I grunt a lot when I do stuff. If you So if you hear me grunting, just ignore it. What is that one up there? I don't know what I did there. Make this even smaller. Ugh. Gotta get that on down there. Mine's a little hard to do because I got that green thing around there. So y'all can see where I am. So sometimes that gets in my way. All 
Okay, may not be perfect, but it's going to have to be for now. So, in quick, quick mask mode, Photoshop traces the red overlay as a grayscale mask where shades of gray correspond to the degrees of mask transparency. When using a painting or editing tool in quick mask mode, keep these principles in mind. Painting with black adds to the mask or the red overlay, subtracting from the selected area. Painting with white erases the mask, adding to the selected area. Painting with gray or reduced opacity adds semi-transparent areas to the mask where darker shades are more transparent. All right, so once you have done that, click the edit in standard mode right here. Change that back. And that will exit the quiz ma quiz quick mask mode and it converts the quiz ma <laughs> quick mask into a selection. Choose select and then inverse. And that selects the area we originally masked. If you wanted to keep the selection for future use, you would save it as an alpha channel by clicking select and then save selection, which I'm not going to. Choose image, adjustments, and then go to hue and saturation. It's going to open up this dialog box. In the hue saturation box, change the hue to 70. And the new green color fills the glasses frame. Click OK. And then you can choose select, deselect, or you can do command D or control D. You can see it's not perfect, but on mine, hopefully you did a better job than me. So let me ask you this. What appears as you make a selection in the quick mask mode, masking the area outside of the selection? It was a red overlay. Red overlay. Let's go ahead and click File and then Save. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to manipulate an image with Puppet Warp. You probably have never done anything in Puppet Warp, but you'll do that in the next video.